Hello everybody. It's Elaine Friend, licensed marriage and family therapist in Northern California and international consultant on high sensitivity. I'm speaking with you today with my HSP, highly sensitive person friendly headphones, as you can see. They're over ear, those earbuds just bug me. It's not that I can't use them, but I don't like to use them for a long period of time. So when I'm listening to meditation, guided meditation, or um, my audio books, or having a long phone conversation, this is the headset for me. It's a Skull Candy, probably about 20 to $25. Unfortunately, my kitten has chewed the cords of many of them, but um, it's worth it to keep getting more because, uh, gosh, it's just so loose and maybe it doesn't block out sound as well, but it doesn't give me a headache. Um, you know, people talk about, sorry for the, the moving camera. <laughs> um, people talk about um, weighted blankets, for example. And I really, I don't like toxins in the fabrics. And so um, I wear stuff that's either very old and used, or I like cotton and I even like um, organic cotton even more. So what I use for my weighted blanket on my bed is a, an organic wool comforter. It's really quite heavy. It's just like a weighted blanket, but it's amazing. Um, it's toxin-free, natural fibers, and it still breathes even though it's heavy. So those are just some examples of designing a life that's compatible with being highly sensitive. And I'm see I was hiking around uh, waiting for an appointment and these, I want to show you these beautiful succulents. This is a landscaped area that I'm in because I'm in town. These succulents are perfect examples of being a highly sensitive person. Because did you know that if you stress a succulent, that's what makes it develop those really beautiful colors? And um, someday I'll go to the nursery and take a little video with those real, with some really beautiful succulents. And I've posted them before on social media. But stress is hard for everybody but it's extra hard for highly sensitive people yet it does give us more i don't know more color more depth more beauty um, to our lives it's something that we integrate into our lives and it makes us a a different kind of person a more um, complex person so i love these succulents i couldn't resist sitting down here and i'm going to flip the camera for a moment and i hope that you can see um, this beautiful view out across the valley where I am in San Anselmo, California, Northern California. So I'll watch back before I post to make sure you could see that. This coming month, August, our theme for August is differential susceptibility. So be watching out for all the things I have to say about differential susceptibility. I'll show some slides on social media and YouTube and get you all warmed up for our two webinars on differential susceptibility. And all that means is that as highly sensitive people, we have a different level of susceptibility to our environment. That's all. Here's the good news. Our susceptibility is stronger to the negative things in our environment, yet it's also stronger to the positive things. What? Stronger even than it is to the negative things we are susceptible to the good things so how about this for your homework after this video go out there and find the good things keep watching subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on social media um, and i'm doing some things just on instagram that won't be appearing other places so i hope you find me a lane friend lmft on instagram what else and go to areyouhighlysensitive.com and sign up for our two webinars in August by becoming a member. Thanks so much. Ciao for now.